Hello, I'm Professor Brian Boucher. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at some financial statement disclosures related to stock issuance, stock repurchase, and dividends to see where we can pull out some of the information that we've been learning about this week. Let's get started. Okay, our disclosure example, we're going to look at Pupco, which manufactures health drinks for dogs and cats. So things like low-fat bacon smoothies or tuna and chia seed shakes. And we're going to look at Pupco shareholder equity disclosures to answer the following questions. What are shares issued, shares outstanding, and par value for the common stock? How much cash did Pupco get from issuing new shares in 2012? How much cash dividends were declared and paid in 2012? How much did Pupco pay to repurchase shares in 2012? And what was the average price that they paid? And what's the average price that they paid to acquire all of their treasury shares held as of 12-31-2012? Okay, we're going to start with the shares issued, shares outstanding, and par value disclosure. So here is the balance sheet part of their shareholders' equity. And we can see under the preferred stock, which has no par value, and the repurchased preferred stock, that's like treasury stock with the preferred stock, you can see the common stock. And here we have shares issued are 1865. Uh, that's in millions. And that's well below the 3.6 billion shares that are authorized, which means that managers could issue uh, roughly another 1.8 billion shares before they would hit this cap of the authorized share limit. For shares outstanding, we actually have to calculate the number. It's not disclosed here. So we start with shares issued of 1865. Then down here in the footnote, we have repurchased common stock, which is the treasury shares. And there it says that we have 284 shares at the end of 2012. So those are the shares owned by the company. So shares outstanding is the difference between those two, which is 1581. And then for the par value, we look back up here in the common stock line, and we can see that the par value is one and two thirds cents per share. Why in the world would a company? Dave, let me handle this one. What kind of nonsense is a par value of one and two thirds cents? You know, I tried to research this. I looked at the real company and I could not find how they came up with a par value of one and two thirds cents. So my guess is that they really wanted to do one and five ninth cents, but that would sound too ridiculous. So they decided to do something more conventional like one and two thirds. The next question was to look for cash from new stock issuances. So what I brought up here is part of Pupco's statement of shareholders equity. So as our first look at one of these statements of shareholders equity, there's a top section which is on preferred stock and repurchase preferred stock, which is the preferred treasury stock. And then below that, we have common stock, where there was a beginning balance, shares issued, and an ending balance. And then below that, capital in excess of par value, or APEC, there's a beginning balance, some stock-based compensation stuff that we'll talk about next video, and shares issued. So the two lines that have shares issued here are what we're looking for. So they got 1 million of par value of common stock plus another four, uh, 45, 46, so that's 4.5 billion of APEC, which means the total common stock issued was 45, 47. Now let's go to the statement of cash flows. This is the financing section, and we can look for this proceeds from stock issuance on the cash from financing. And it's, um, let's see where, no, 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 no. Uh, it's, uh, I don't, I don't see it. So it appears that there was no cash flow from issuing shares. There's no line on here that says proceeds from issuance of common stock. So that means that they must have gotten no cash from this new stock issuance. And in fact, what happened is, I don't show it here, but there was a disclosure at the bottom of the SCF saying that the shares were issued for an acquisition, which was a non-cash activity. So Popco issued the shares uh, in return for getting the company, there was no cash flow involved, so it doesn't show up in the cash flow statement. So to find uh, share issuances, you want to look at the statement of stockholders' equity, and then to see how much of that was cash versus non-cash, you need to go to the statement of cash flows. A trick question. How, what about the proceeds from the exercises of stock options? How do you know that some of the new shares were not the stock option exercises? That's a good point. The proceeds from exercise of stock options could be cash received from issuing the new shares, at least part of them. 
But as we'll see in the next video, the stock options were satisfied with treasury stock, not with new shares. So uh, if you look at the whole footnote, you can eventually find out that that's not the answer. Next, we're going to take a look at dividends declared. And to see this, we go to the statement of stockholders equity again. There's a section for retained earnings and AOCI, or in this case, AOCL, other comprehensive loss. So just quickly look, we're not going to talk about the AOCL uh, in the rest of the case, but we'll take a quick look at it. So here at the bottom, you have a beginning balance. Then you have each of the four items that we talked about that go through here, foreign currency translations for subsidiaries outside the U.S., derivative gains and losses on cash flow hedges, uh, pension-related gains and losses, and then the one that we've covered, unrealized gains or losses on marketable securities, which are under the available for sale method. If we go back up to the top, we have retained earnings. We've got a beginning balance, goes up by net income, and then we have all the cash dividends declared. So there's common dividends of 3022, that's uh, $3 billion, 1 million of preferred dividends, and 12 million of dividends on restricted stock. This is a stock that was given to managers as part of their compensation. So that's a total of 3 billion uh, dividends declared, so 3035. If we go to the statement of cash flows, the cash from financing section, and we look in the middle here, there's cash dividends paid, 2978. And so what we can see here is that Pupco has not paid all the dividends that they've declared in cash. Um, there's a timing difference between when they declare it and when they pay it, and it must straddle the fiscal year ends. And so there's going to be a change in the dividends payable as a result of this. So dividends declared we can get from the statement of shareholders' equity. Dividends actually paid in cash we get from the statement of cash flows. That is a lot of dividends. Why the land would the company pay such big dividends when it is borrowing so much money? They should just stop the dividends and stop the borrowing. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, Pupco borrowed about $8 billion, and yet they're paying about $3 billion in dividends. But as we talked about uh, previously, companies do not want to cut dividends because it will be viewed as a bad signal to the market. So Pupco is going to maintain those dividends to keep their investors happy and then just go out and borrow money if they need to. But hey, it's uh, 2012, money's almost free anyway, interest rates are low, why not do it? Okay, finally we wanna take a look at the treasury stock or the repurchase stock. So we go back to the statement of shareholders equity to look at the repurchased common stock section. And what we're looking for is what were the payments in 2012 to repurchase shares. So if we look at the disclosure, we've got the beginning balance, then share repurchases, stock option exercises, which we'll talk about next video, other, and the ending balance. So we can see that they paid $49.78 to repurchase shares. So almost $5 billion they spent to repurchase shares. If we go to the statement of cash flows, the cash from financing section, we can see towards the middle share repurchases common, $49.78. So those were all cash repurchases of treasury stock. Coming back to the statement of stockholders equity, we can now figure out what's the 2012 average price. So we can see that the 49.78 was paid to acquire 76 million shares. So if we divide 49.78 by 76 million, we come up with 65.50 per share. Now we can compare that to the average price for all treasury shares held at 12.31 2012. So I bet back to the balance sheet, the shareholders equity section. We have the balance and repurchase common stock is 16745. We can divide that by the number of shares that we've repurchased, which are 284 million, which means that the average price of all treasury shares held is 5896, which is about $7 a share lower than the price in 2012. Clearly, the company stock price has gone up in 2012. But why is the company repurchasing almost $5 billion in stock during a year when its price went up? Yeah, I agree it's weird at first blush to see the company buying back so much stock when their stock price is increasing. But again, it could be one of these motivations that we've talked about earlier. So even though Pupco's stock price is going up, management could still feel it's not going up enough. They're still undervalued. I mean, 
Have you ever seen Pupco stuff on the shelves? They must sell really quickly because they never have it when I'm in the pet food store. Or it could be that, as we'll talk about next video, Pupco has a lot of employee stock options, a lot of restricted stock grants, and they just may need to buy tons of their own stock to satisfy the stock-based compensation without having to issue new shares, which would dilute the current shareholders. So one of those reasons could still apply even though their stock price is going up. And so quite a few times in this video, I talked about stock option or stock-based compensation related issues that we would get back to in the next video. So we will pick this up next time looking at those specific disclosures. I'll see you then. See you next video.